guys, Chelsea Briggs here, hanging out with Mr. Shane Harper. Hey guys. Sunshine, but it feels bright. Ain't no blue skies, but it's alright. Let's get the rain on my skin. I'm ready for the day to begin. Let's start, I guess, with your album. Just put it out in February. How does it feel to have your music out there? For me, it's it's weird because I just kind of grew up like playing guitar and, and kind of singing for fun. When it started to become more and more of a career, it was kind of it was kind of weird, you know. And then having an album out is is definitely uh, it's like the the key point, you know. So it's exciting. Is there a certain place that where you're most inspired, like whether it be the shower or like you know? Shower's a great place. Is I'm it? a total really? shower singer, <laughs> by the way. That. As long as it's a creative space. Mm -hmm. Um, but it could be it could be a fun rowdy session with a bunch of people playing a bunch of different instruments, or it could just be like a quiet like afternoon in my room. Well, as a dancer, you did a lot of dancing in your recent music video, Dancing in the Rain. Talk to me about the making of that a little bit. So I knew I wanted to dance in it, but I didn't want to do too much dancing because I don't really feel like I'm a dance artist necessarily. But I wanted to move, and then of course we need to have rain in it. So I was like, oh, how do we get the rain machines? You know, so now you're gonna dance in the rain, and then. Um, next thing I know, I was soaking all? wet for <laughs> like six hours, freezing. You know, it was a, it was a cool process though. I had a great time, and the director and the producers and the choreographer, you know, everyone was amazing. So I had a, I had a really good time. How about any new music you're working on, or maybe thoughts of a next album? I'm writing new music definitely for another record. So, and I just started like last week, okay. two weeks ago, um, and I'm writing new music, and I'm really really excited. Who's someone? that you would love to collaborate in the very near future, Shane. I always tell people Phil Collins because I love, I know it's like super 80s pop, but I love Phil Collins. And so I, I feel like if I could like session or write a song or something with Phil Collins, that would be, that would be really, really cool. Recent exciting news with you. Um, you're doing, you're opening for Carly Rae Jepsen. Yeah. Call Me Maybe. I know, I just found out like two days ago. Are you so stoked? I'm so excited. It's really funny, me and my band, after you play for a while, you like to like kind of mix things up. So sometimes we, pick covers that we've never done before and decide to do them on stage during the performance just for fun. And we picked Call Me Maybe that day uh, to do on stage. We ended up doing Call Me Maybe as a cover. Uh -huh. And then like a week later, they were like, hey, you're opening up for, for in LA. And I was like, did she see the that's cover? That's so weird. Well, yeah, so I was like, I was like, I don't know how like how that happened, but I thought it was really cool. Well, you've toured also with uh, Mr. Cody Simpson, who we love, yeah. and Grayson Chance. How yeah. is it with them? You guys, I feel like you guys would be a trouble, a crew of trouble. It was totally, yeah. I felt like it was funny. It's the only time I've ever felt like the old guy because I was really? a little bit old, you know, because they were yeah. really young. I think Grayson was like still 13 or oh something. Cody gosh. was like 14, I think, and I was 16. You know, they're like riding around on skateboards backstage. And I'm like, you're gonna get hurt. I'm like, oh my gosh. I'm like, I'm the mom, you know. Like, um, how about for you? Um, future touring plans or headlining touring plans? It's hard to to get everything working right. And I've been working on the show a lot too, so it's hard to schedule yeah, schedule sure. things, but hopefully we'll get a we'll get like a big long term tour, you hopefully know. Hopefully soon. Yeah, tour. hopefully really soon. Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of you just talked about kind of brought up Good Luck Charlie back on the show. Talk to me about that a little bit. How well first off, how's that whole experience been being a part of the show? Because it's been now a few years. And the work environment's awesome. I mean everyone knows each other so well now. Um, and we started it when we were so young and we like always make fun of like Bradley because like he was like a little boy and we started now he's like a little man you know his voice is like deep and he's like hey guys what's going on and we're like ah you know like oh, what's what happened yeah exactly what happened in the last like three and a half years um, so it's been sweet it's been really really sweet and uh, and the show's awesome I'm always curious as far as being under the Disney umbrella I mean so many big stars have come from it how is that how is it being part of that Disney family I guess everyone is nice I mean it's not a it's not kind of a false presupposition that everyone's like you know sweet and friendly because they are I mean and everyone is very kind of it's very familial everyone's kind of acts like they're you know a family and it is it's really cool well you have amazing fans I literally tweeted that I was gonna be interviewing you and I got so many tweets nice and okay so the fans call themselves Harpians. Right? Harpians. Harpians. Yeah. That's amazing. They had a consent. There was a consensus <laughs> to like <laughs> to come up with a name. Your fans rule. They rule. They really rule. Harpians <laughs> rock. For more, you guys, on Shane Harper, be sure to head to hollywire.com and Hollywire TV.